Savage Destiny. I have earned his love by my own trickery, she confessed as she stabbed herself repeatedly in the bosom. A crimson trickle from the corner of her lips as she gasped her last, my whole life has been ruined. Her body slumped over the tea cart. In mournful observance, I grieve both the loss of a lover, and the tragic passing of a friend. A beautifully issued statement to the press. Is chewing culpability while maintaining remorseful posturing, the young boyfriend made a hasty retreat from the scene of his lover's death. The townspeople gather, and as feared, began to talk amongst themselves. He was in possession of a love worth dying for, declared a bearded elder. You're dead wrong, said another, this might sound like media hype, but I think he killed her. Nonsense you're talking, called out an Irish matron, she went and done herself in, she done. The serene surrounds of solitude, but oh, how temporary, as the boyfriend seeks respite from the ensuing struggle that will begin within himself. The black curtains are drawn and through the grayscale mist, in the distance, looms, the gallows. I shall not be alone for long, he decrees. The end seems near, and bitter, indeed. Let's get em boys, was the cry that galvanized the townspeople, turning them into barbarians bent on chaos, vengeance, and blood. A chase ensued. Why am I touching spiders now? I never liked them before. Confused and afraid, the boyfriend trembles on the peak of his roof. The townspeople climb higher. Sure and he has no place to go but Dowan. Calls out the matron who is scaling the chimney. Death to the man who ruined his girlfriend's home life. Roar the townspeople, do you have any last words? No regrets, said he. The boyfriend issued his last words and leapt to his death on the street below thus satisfying both the hearty appetite of press and public, and, the wish of his dead lover. The End